Hi everyone, let's solve another easy read code question which is count and say. Uh, the count and say sequence is a sequence of integers with the first five terms as following 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, then uh, 1, 2, 1, 1, 1, 1, 2, 2, 1. Okay, so how are these numbers generated? So let's consider how would be the fourth number generated from the third one. So here, if we see, uh, we'll just count the number of times a particular element is occurring and then uh, we'll use that to derive the next element. So this one, if we take an example of this one, so number two occurs only once. So first of all, we'll write the count. So count of two is one and the number is two. Okay, so the next element is one and it occurred only once. So our, uh, the count is count is also one and the number is also one. Now let's see, uh, let's talk about another element. So say how is fifth element generated for this fourth one? So uh, one appears one once. So count is one and the number is also one. And if we talk about the next element that is two. So two appears one. So count is one and the number is two. Talking about the next element one, it appears two times. So count is two and the number is one. Okay, so that's how the uh, e, uh, next element is generated from the previous element. So to, uh, what we have to actually do in the question is given an integer n, uh, where n can be from 1 to 30, we have to generate n a term of count and say sequence. Okay, so this is actually very easy. Um, we have to simply follow the logic that we just discussed to generate our next element from the previous one. Let's try implementing it and then uh, we can see. So first of all, we'll check the invalid input. If n is less than equal to 0, that is invalid. So our uh, term start from n equals to 1. So if n uh, value of n is less than equal to 0, that is invalid input for us. So we'll simply return null in this case. Otherwise, and our base case is the first element itself. So our, we'll start our result from our base case. And then the next element, for generating the next element, we'll put out a loop. Okay, so n is already there. So we'll initialize it to i equals to 1. So uh, we'll continuously do this uh, processing until I, our i becomes n. And at the end, we'll simply return our result. Now let's uh, write our computation to generate the next element. So uh, we'll, uh, since we need to uh, insert, we need to perform many insert operations, it's better to use string builder rather than string. And we need to count, we need a variable to uh, store count. Now we'll iterate on result. Result would actually store a, cur a store current um, element. Uh, so basically current current sequence. Result would actually store current sequence. So we'll iterate over it. If our, uh, if our current element is equal to previous one, so say we are at this occurrence and 1 is equal to 1, so we are still counting. So if result of caret j equals equals result of caret j minus 1, then we will simply increase our count else it means we are seeing the next number so we will simply uh, put result in our string builder object 
first of all we have to add count and then the number right so first we'll put count and then we will put our number so number would be previous number because now we are seeing the next number so we will put previous number and we will reinitialize our count to one okay at the end of this loop our uh, inner string builder object will have the next occurrence next uh, next term of count and say sequence in the um, count and say sequence so uh, we will update our result okay before this actually i have to do one more step so basically when we are at the last element when we are counting the last element we we won't actually get this condition right we won't be seeing this condition so we will have to append occurrence of last account of last element and also the last element result dot caret result dot length minus one which would be the last element uh, and we have updated our result also to the next element and at the end we are returning result yeah i think we are good let's try running this code and see okay yeah so as you can see we have successfully um, submitted our solution uh, as usual i'll put out the link to this problem statement in description and also my solution in github link would be also there in description if you like this video please subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching